said before the council, Adam St. Collins is going to make certain that these people are relocated. Not Why don't you listen to that woman talk? I mean, I wouldn't have thought it a couple of months ago, but she's a great asset. I mean, she presents a good image for Adam St. Collins, don't you think? You mean a good front, don't you? Oh, come on, Sonny. You're really on my case. Why don't you lighten up? Listen, Dad, I have no intention of giving up on this. You're just like your mother. Well, thank you. I take that as a compliment. So, uh, what are you going to do now? Well, I thought I might uh, go out and eat a few babies for lunch. Oh, come on. <laughs> now that I've got the rezoning, I intend to uh, exercise my options on the land. Which means what, exactly? Which means I buy the land, and then I send out the eviction notices, and then I get those houses cleared off. Eviction notices? For sure. I can't tear down the houses with people in them. Well, just when are you going to be sending out these eviction notices? Well, let's see. I'll close the deal on the land this afternoon. Uh, tomorrow's the first. Uh, they'll be in the mail tomorrow. So what does that give them? A month to get out? No, I believe the city ordinance is uh, five days from uh, date of notification. Five days? What, what's five days? The people on Julia Street have five days to get out, that's what. You didn't tell me that. Uh, I'll explain it later. Look, we are very late for a meeting back at the office right now. We gotta go. We'll see you later, Sonny. Cheer up, Miss McClure. You put up a good fight. Yeah, I guess so. Anyhow, you did a fine job of getting us all out here to cover this thing. Almost professional. <sighs> Thank you. I'm actually in my last year of communications. Hmm. Here in town? Yeah, Henderson University. Listen, you ought to think about applying for an internship down at my station. Mm, the pay's not great, but uh, the experience is just what you need. If you like, I'll talk to the station manager. Hey, hey, thank you, but I don't have time for anything right now. I'm too wrapped up in this rezoning fight. Mm, I thought the fight was over. Oh, no. Ted Adamson may think it's over, but it's not. Not by a long shot. I admire your spirit, but what is there left to do uh, after the council vote? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. But I'm going to think of something. It's you. Gonna leave Carolyn. That's fine with me. That's just fine. You, you but you can come here whenever you want. Whenever you have a, a free hour or a, a, a free evening or, or whenever. You just come here. I'll be here. I love you. Lay, don't. Please. It's still wine, see? Even in a paper cup. That's how you can have my love. I won't ask you for anything. What do you want? I want to be sure I understand these orders you left. There's nothing complicated about them, Buck. I didn't say there was anything complicated about them, Miss Adamson. I said I didn't understand them, and I don't. Well, then perhaps I can explain them to you, Mr. Peterson. This says you want a, a demolition crew organized for next week. That's right. I don't get it. The building site's already cleared. The land adjacent to the building site, we bought that for the parking area. Where? What are you talking about? All along here on Julia Street. All those houses have to be demolished. Now, wait a minute. What? The greenhouse is on Julia Street. Oh, it'll be coming down then. Now, you don't understand. My brother, Jackie, he's been helped there. And Dr. Hanley is working there. Carol? I didn't know she was working there. A lot of people. Kids, I mean, have been helped there. Well, nobody's stopping them from finding another building. Well, you think that's so easy? What I think is that it's none of our concern. Don't you see? It's wrong tearing down a building like that. Buck, I don't want to go over this anymore. We need the land, and that's all there is to it. Not from where I stand. What do you mean? Dr. Hanley, that's what I mean. She's been hurt enough, and I'm not going to see her hurt again. Not if I can help it. Well, you can't help it, Buck. Now get out of here. Mm -hmm. 